Welcome to this short demonstration on managing ITL files on Cisco IP phones. We'll begin by initiating a scan. We'll just accept the default settings, which is to scan all phones on the cluster. And when we initiate that, PhoneView is querying multiple data sources to gather phone related information, such as firmware versions and uh, ITL status and a number of other values and it takes all that information, consolidates it and analyzes it. But what we're going to use the scanning operation for in this occasion is to rectify ITL related issues. So in this case we can see that we have a red flag against ITL status. In fact down below we have a device count of 20 phones that have a problem but uh, the good thing is, from a remediation perspective, they can be resolved remotely. So if we click on Next, we've got three choices here. We can generate a report, we can save all the raw data to a spreadsheet, but what we'll do this time is we'll actually just resolve the problem directly by deleting the ITL files. So we can see that it's found 20 devices with issues. So if I click the Delete ITL button, it sends the necessary instructions out to the devices and it's now waiting for those instructions to complete and for the phones to reset. An important thing here is there is no need to perform a hard reset on a phone beforehand. There's no need to navigate to the appropriate page or unlock settings, etc. All of that is taken care of within the logic within the ITL delete sequence. So when this comes back, it's now giving us the option to update the status. And when we update the status, it will refresh that ITL status information. So hopefully for those 20 devices, they will all be resolved. So we click update status. It's refreshing that data. And in this case, it's resolved all 20 ITL issues. So we've got no issues found. So we'll finish there for the scan operation and delete. So you might find that uh, you want to delete all ITL files, not just any that are detected with an issue. So to show you how to do that, we'll filter down to registered devices and we're just going to work with uh, a couple of models here in, in this case. So it's pretty simple. We can just drag and select as so. You can also do Control A or Edit Select All from the menu and uh, it's really just down at one button. So if I click Delete ITL, and if you watch carefully, it goes away and uh, presses the appropriate buttons, all in parallel. So, you know, with uh, thousands of phones, this is a very quick and uh, efficient exercise. And as you can see, maybe it takes a, a few seconds for some phones, uh, maybe a little bit longer the phones will come back and re-register. So, you know, just in case the phone's web server is disabled, you may not be able to gather uh, ITL status, but you can still delete the ITL file from all the phones. With PhoneView from Unified Effects, you may never need to send an engineer to site again. www.unifiedeffects.com